Ah! Bro, you're already watching. Excuse me, I was just um, trying to find your matches. Yo, bro, this is Louis, Tinder coach. And if you ever feel like you don't have enough matches, then today I will show you how to multiply your matches times 10. Tinder can be so much fun when everything's going well. But sometimes it's just not working. You swipe profile after profile after profile and you're getting little to no matches. And it has you wondering, am I really uglier than anyone else? If you are struggling with this, then I have some great news because I wrote a huge article that contains no less than 33 tips to eliminate your lack of matches once and for all. So today I'll be giving you five of the most crucial tips that I've personally been using to double the dates of dozens of dudes. That's four times the letter D right there. And if you press the subscribe button, I'll give you one extra. Tip one, the secret to a diamond cutting jawline. The jawline is a symbol of manliness. Every girl loves it and every guy wants to have one. Now you might not be in the best shape of your life or maybe nature didn't bless you with a jawline that can crack open coconuts. If that's the case, then you are in the same position as this guy. So what did this guy do? He followed the advice of legendary portrait photographer Peter Hurley. His advice goes like this. I want everybody to imagine that there's a hook on the top of your head and it's pulling you up to the ceiling. When you're up there, I want you to increase the distance between your earlobes and your shoulder blades. Now I want you to jam your forehead forward a little bit. So in three simple steps, one, imagine there's a hook in your head, pulling your head up as high as possible. Two, increase the distance between your earlobes and your shoulder blades like this and three jam your forehead forward a little bit the result from double chin to jawline in one two three <laughs> tip two what everybody forgets the importance of trustworthiness Every piece of dating advice out there will tell you to look as attractive as possible in your pictures. And yes, this is true, but no one is talking about trustworthiness in your pictures. And this is equally as important. For you as a guy, what's the worst thing that can happen when you meet up with a girl that you met online? Probably that she's not as beautiful as her pictures led you to believe. Now ask this exact same question to a girl. What's the worst that can happen to a woman when she meets up with a guy that she met online? Here's Johnny! <laughs> exactly. There's a lot of creeps out there, bro. When a girl goes out on a date with you, you can bet your ass she has an escape route planned. Always remember this. Women that do online dating are worried about their safety. They even worry about this when their date looks like a friendly and trustworthy guy. If your profile looks a little bit less trustworthy and maybe even slightly aggressive, then I wish you good luck to break down all those extra barriers you set up for yourself. By the way, are you looking for a girlfriend? Women who are looking for a long-term relationship especially tend to swipe guys that look trustworthy. So what's the quickest and easiest way to radiate trust? Just smile. A second way to look extra trustworthy is to enlarge your pupils. Scientists have discovered that people with dilated pupils are seen as more trustworthy than people with constricted pupils. But Louis, how can I enlarge my pupils right before I take a picture? Bro, simple. Research taught us that thinking about a dark shape or even just imagining you're in a dark room can be enough to dilate your pupils. Or maybe when you were a kid you played the game where you close your eyes for like two minutes and then as you open them up all your friends are watching to see your dilated pupils as they constrict again. If you don't feel like applying psychological tricks or playing children's games then you can always just edit your pictures. 
And if you choose to Photoshop your pictures, then the best thing you can do is to also edit your limbal ring. The limbal ring is the outer ring of your iris. A study of the Journal of Evolutionary Psychology has shown that people are found more attractive when this outer line is thicker. Oh, uh, by the way, bro, do you see that subscribe button down here? How about you press it, because that really gets me going. My tip for you is to not choose your own pictures, but let strangers pick them for you. Why? Scientific research explains this very nicely. However, contrary to predictions based on people's general expertise in self-presentation, other selected images conferred more favorable impressions than self-selected images. We conclude that people make suboptimal choices when selecting their own profile pictures, such that self-perception places important limits on facial first impressions formed by others. Translated to human language, if you select pictures of yourself, you will not select the ones that others find most attractive. You have seen your own face so many times that you will not spot certain details. On top of that, you probably have some insecurities and that's why you will focus on parts that are less important to others. And the same problems apply when you ask advice to people that already know you. The best thing is to ask complete strangers. They will, just like women on Tinder, form an idea of who you are within a split second. The information needed to do this will not only be drawn from the background, your clothes and your posture. They also get this information from all sorts of micro expressions on your face. Using all this information, they will create an idea of your personality. This instantaneously forming of a judgment based on someone's appearance is called thin slicing. And this happens every time someone looks at you. And not only on dating sites, but also in real life. I have a picture of which I thought it could only have this effect. Back when I used this, I would have bet insane amount of money that this picture would do great on dating sites. But when I had random chicks from all over the world rate this picture, the average reaction appeared to be something like this. But don't worry! I have something for you to make sure that you will never make the same mistake I made. Tip 4. How you are scaring away women in this moment. What I had going on with my picture is not a unique case. Everywhere on the internet guys are accidentally sending the wrong signals. Apparently I was looking very aggressive while I thought I was just emitting a healthy dose of mystery. By the way, you will be getting a ton of new matches soon. So you will be needing the perfect opener to send to all of them. Lucky you, I made a video that gives you just that and you can access it by just clicking the link below the video. In science, I found answers to my questions. Apparently we use different parts of our brains when looking at pictures of ourselves versus looking at pictures of other people. We literally do not see the same images they do. You and I know of ourselves that we are not creepy or evil dudes. So when we look at a picture of ourselves, those possibilities don't even come to mind. But the women you meet online start off with no information about you at all. So they can easily interpret your expressions as suspicious or judgmental. And this is exactly what happened with my picture from back in the day. And this is also the reason why I tell most of my students to smile in their pictures. A smile literally says, I'm harmless, everything is okay. One, two, three, four, tip five. My best picture and how you discover yours. Okay, enough talking. Let's take a look at this picture from back in the day I've been talking about the whole time. Here is the picture I've been talking about portraying your favorite player. I was interviewing chicks about their first kiss in Barcelona for a YouTube video. When I first saw this photo, I thought, nice, 
my hair is under control, my skin is looking quite tan thanks to the Spanish sun, my face is completely visible, I snuck in a little bit of a bicep flex in the corner, we got some jawline action going on, so yeah, I thought this is nice. On top of that, I'm doing my thing, interviewing chicks and I have some sort of mysterious stare going on. With this photo, I was sure I was gonna seduce some more ladies on Tinder. But, when I had random women from all over the world rate this picture on photo feeler, and that is exactly what I want you to do with your pictures as well, it appeared I didn't make a very good first impression. According to the results, I appear to be dumb, untrustworthy, and mediocre attractive. For someone with an IQ of 169, a cheating counter of zero, and an appearance I will never complain about, these were not the best results. In comparison to other dudes of my age, I came across as smarter than 30%, more trustworthy than 19%, and more attractive than 73%. In other words, 27% seemed more attractive, 70% seemed more intelligent, and a solid 81% seemed more trustworthy than me. Ouch! Not the results I was hoping for. The competitive beast in me was awakened and armed with about 69 scientific studies about attractiveness, I was determined to crank up these numbers. Together with a friend of mine who's a photographer, we went on a little photo shooting adventure. The picture I ended up uploading on Tinder was this one. I myself am not the biggest fan of this picture, but as you just learned, you never choose your own picture. If you want the best results, you let complete strangers judge your photos. And that is exactly what I did. Bang, bang! By applying the tips from this video, we immediately went from smarter than 30% of people to smarter than 91% of people. We went from more trustworthy than 19% of guys to more trustworthy than 90% of guys. And we went from more attractive than 73% of guys to more attractive than 100% of guys. Bro, that is a growth of 203%, 374% and 37%. Now I know it's not super evident to find a good camera and a good photographer to then just apply these tips and walk home with the best picture ever, but that's good news. Because for most men, this will be too much effort. So if you are an action taker and you set out to do this, you will stand out even more. You just learned how to make your jawline pop and how to look extra trustworthy in your pictures plus some other stuff. But these were just five of the 33 tips I amassed and put in my huge article that you can find in the description down below. If you're looking to get endless matches, check it out and then I'll see you there. Have a good day.